Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jazz Hands, and today we're going to be introducing a new doll that I have completely fallen in love with, the Japanese Lika-chan doll. She originally came out in 1967, and I'm currently showing off some of the modern day stuff that you can actually buy nowadays, 2019. Uh, we're going to start by taking a look at her little tiny room. This is called Lika's room. It kind of bounces around. One of the things that I like about Lika-chan is that uh, it reminds me of original Barbie dream house stuff because it's made out of cardboard or paper. It's designed to be folded up and put away. Uh, all of it is very cute and very Japanese and uh, it's a lot of fun. So we're going to take a look at the little room first, maybe. And then I'll introduce you to the doll itself. It's got a little uh, bookshelf in here with little sliding doors in it, drawers in it that I already set up. A uh, little wardrobe. More uh, shelf space and the back wall, you can see all her items, her room. This is her dog in the corner named Pudding Chan, which is part of the story of the Lika Chan doll. Uh, it does come with books and stuff, but they, they kind of pop out, and I'm just going to leave them inside. This is a Japanese set, so everything is in Japanese. And then the actual bed. The bed is meant to be a bunk bed, but I don't really like it as a bunk bed. I guess I could show it to you so you can see what it looks like when it is a bunk bed. See? I mean, I guess it's kind of cool. She's got a little staircase to get up there and put her clothes in down here. And then yeah, it's cute. So I like it. This is her room. It's not designed to be a house because uh, unlike Barbie, who was a teenage fashion model, and uh, when she first came out in 1959, Lika-chan is designed to be approximately 11 years old or so. So she appealed to Japan's uh, younger audiences. And instead of focusing so much on the uh, fashion modeling aspect of it, she focuses more on family life, more on uh, doing regular everyday household things, which I'll show you a bit of. So to start off, I've got a Lika-chan doll, which is super cute here. This is not the set that she came with by herself shiny nose um this is a uh <coughs> excuse me a pet walking a pet trimmer lika chan doll if you look her up with her hair and ponytails wearing a hello kitty cafe dress which i thought was just ridiculously cute um in terms of comparison to barbie she's a little bit shorter she's got a slightly wider face she has more anime eyes i guess you could call it the detail on these clothes is really good. Uh, it reminds me of early or earlier vintage Barbie style outfits, especially this particular one, which costs almost 25 bucks. But it's in really good condition, really high quality. She has stockings, shoes. Um, the, there is a drawback to these dolls, and that's that they have Velcro all the way down the back, which tends to flatten them out. But I mean, it is made for small children to play with, so it's not so bad. I think it looks really good. I do like how the apron is actually already, uh, this is sewn on the back so you can't screw up doing the bow on it. So she's really cute. That's just uh, one that I currently have out. The stand you have to buy separately. It costs a whole dollar fifty, or approximately 150 yen. Uh, it's very easy to get those if you order it in the right place. I recommend ordering them from somewhere like Ami Ami or Hobbling Japan. So that is the introduction to Lika. I've also got here a set, which I thought I'd go ahead and open. This is the Daisuke Lika-chan gift set. Daisuke has two meanings in Japanese. I'm not a Japanese expert by any means, but I'll try to kind of cover some things on it. Daisuke can mean love or like a lot. In this instance, it probably means love since everything's kind of built around hearts on it. Uh, this is a, <coughs> excuse me, like a flagship model Lika-chan. You'll see this particular model here with this, out, this exact same outfit advertised on a lot of their stuff currently. This is the fourth generation Lika-chan after the 1967. 1967 was first gen, 1970 was the second, approximately, 1983 and then 90s to now, uh, or even early 2000s is current fourth gen, and that is what she currently has. You can tell the gen different generations by face shapes and by the uh, number of little uh, 
um, shimmers and reflections they have in the eyeballs. The very first one only had one, the second one had two. I'm not sure if it kept going, but this one does have one, two, three, four in it, including red. Um, this particular set, we're going to talk about, um, like, I, the reason why I'm even showing these videos is I'm impressed with the quality of the Lika Chan dolls, but this particular set, <coughs> excuse me, is a good example of uh, stuff that I don't like to see in children's uh, toys nowadays, and I'm not a big fan of them, but I brought it here anyway because this, it, this is the only way to get this particular flagship version which is shown on all the other advertisements and i have some more stuff to show you but we'll get to that in a little bit uh, this is the back of the set if you read japanese that's great you might be able to understand some of this i personally don't understand any japanese so i'm not gonna be able to read any of it uh, even though this is manufactured in japan or in this case in china made for japan like most everything else is nowadays uh they're uh quality standards are very similar to ours. Uh, they do have a higher quality system for taking care, for making toys and other items. You can see down here that it says, don't give it to small children, it's got small parts. Although it does say here um, in another YouTuber video, she read it out loud and it said that they coat the really small parts with um, bitter tasting uh, stuff so that children might be more likely to spit it out if they accidentally do eat it. Um, Lika was very, is very popular in Japan, so you can see here the mother playing with their daughter because she played a Lika-chan most likely when she was a kid, and some of the other sets that you can purchase with it. Uh, I don't think it's listed on here. It might be, but I can't read it. But uh, you can call. There's a hotline, and you can call and talk to Lika-chan also, which is kind of cool. And there it is right here, actually. You can call that number, and you can actually speak to Lika-chan if you wanted to. And the other side of the box has nothing. So let's get this one out. This is uh, the one I've been wanting to unbox for you guys so that you can see what I'm talking about with this particular doll. That was that one is just one that I got because I need a different hairstyle for different outfits. Because I do plan on showing. All right, so the, unfortunately I lost most of the unboxing that I did, so sorry if you were looking forward to seeing that unboxed. I will show you the different accessories. Unfortunately, I tapped a button or something on my phone and I lost everything. So here we are. We've got uh, Lika Chan out of her box already in her stand wearing her shoes in her bedroom, which she's not supposed to do because in Japan you take off your shoes whenever you enter your room, but they'll forgive us because this is not the actual floor of her bedroom. That is. <laughs> so in the set, uh, we had a little heart with a two purple shoes, two hair clips, and a hair tie. And I just threw them in here because I will never use them. A hair brush, which I tried using to kind of even out some of this uh, waviness that's on her head. And then two hangers, which are cute and have her name on them, Lika in English instead of Japanese. And then we've got two ugly dresses. I don't like these two dresses. These are a good example of a style that I don't care for in dolls. Uh, I prefer higher quality prints. I prefer uh, like different textures, different, maybe even ruffles in these because they're Japanese. They have lots of ruffles and they've got a certain style with them. Shoes, socks, stockings. I prefer all of that. Uh, these are more like what I expect out of a modern day Barbie. Like they're very plain. There's nothing really going on with it. And it's just, I mean, who cares? It's not, in this one especially, like there's no form to the outfit. There is like a dreaming princess set they call it of uh, Lika Chan dolls where you can get them in like princess outfits that are really big and for kids I'm sure that's really fun but for me meh I care more about these kind of things these kind of outfits so let's take a look at the Lika Chan doll that we got she's got a pink outfit that says Lika all over it she's got a black bow um, white collar on top pink headbands little heart earrings, which are really cute. And they're made of plastic, which is something that uh, Barbie Vintage should take a hint on and try to copy. Um, these are actually fairly poseable dolls. They have a little wire inside them and you have to really pinch it down, but you can uh, have her do little poses and stuff. And it might look a little odd like <laughs> and pinch, but that's normal. So she can look like, you know, she's a shy girl. It's cute. Um, she's got little socks on here and shoes, which are currently a little scrunched up inside the stand that I got. The stand costs like 150 yen. Can't remember if I talked about that in the previous part of the video. But uh, yeah, so uh, that, this is like a flagship Lika. This is the one that uh, you want to get if uh, you want the one that's advertised on most of the advertisements. So for example, um, Lika... 
Lika compared to Barbie is um, younger. She's like 11 years old. She, uh, although she does do different things, she does jobs and stuff. She uh, focuses more on like chores around the house, more on everyday things that a kid in Japan might actually do and see. So that I think it's really cute. Uh, for example, I've got uh, this refrigerator here showing this particular outfit with an apron on it. And I do have a fridge in here and it is full of all the items that are listed on this. I'll be showing it at another time. This is just kind of to give you an example of what's going on with these uh, with these uh, outfits and dolls and where, what you can do with them and what they try to accomplish with it. Uh, this one is really cool and you can also see videos of it online, not just me. Uh, the Deru Deru vending machine, not sure what that means, but it's an actual little tiny vending machine and you can actually uh, press the buttons to get sodas and juices out of it and it's really cute. Love it, even if it is pink. Like I'm not a big fan of like hot pinks and stuff, but it's fun. And then here's an interesting set that I never thought I'd actually get, but it's a uh, it's a washing machine, and it actually you can actually put the clothing in it and then press the button on top. It makes the same kind of jingle that a washing machine does, and then it actually spins the clothing for you. On here also you'll see her mother, which I own, and uh, Miki Chan and Maki Chan, her twin younger sisters. She also has three triplets, but I don't have any of those. I currently have Maki Chan, which is this one. And I'm currently on order for Miki, Miki Chan, which is the tomboy. Maki Chan's like a spoiled princess. So uh, it's kind of interesting to have an actual place that devoted to chores, but that's something that does exist. And that's kind of what uh, Lika Chan's all about. She's about uh, showcasing what you can do in your everyday life, preparing kids in Japan for uh, doing chores and stuff and being happy, being moral, that kind of thing. It's really neat. Uh, there's a little schoolgirl outfit, which I think is really cute. And I have it unopened. And then if you wait a second, I also have another Lika-chan on display at my place next to a geisha. That's actually uh, very similar to the one on the right, but she's actually wearing the... Uh, schoolgirl outfit, which is really cute. They're, I think the outfits are really high quality. Uh, they're very cute and definitely worth checking out if you're interested in uh, Japanese fashions or Japanese dolls. So give it a try. Uh, that's kind of all I got for this video right now. I have a lot more to show with Lika-chan. I hope that you guys are interested in seeing it. Um, until then, next time, this is Jazz Hands.